It's been three years since Overwatch released, so to celebrate, this year's anniversary event is now live, including new skins and emotes, as well as the return of previous seasonal brawls from past events. Then on top of that, this patch also contains the new workshop feature, and a couple of hero balance changes and bug fixes. So let's take a look at everything in Overwatch's latest patch. First and foremost we have the new legendary skins, including Academy Diva, Orbital Farah, Riot Police Brigitte, Honey Jume, Toxic Roadhog, and Gargoyle Winston. Then there are also new epic skins, including carbon fiber versions of Farah and Doomfist, Electric Widowmaker, Midnight Diva, and Oro Sombra. All of the newly released heroes also got their dance emotes to match the rest of the roster. And of course, all previous anniversary event skins will now be available at a reduced price, and if you log in during the event, you'll get a free legendary loot box. Brawls from previous seasonal events will also be available, including Lucio Ball, The Archives Missions, Yeti Hunt, Snowball Offensive, and Junkenstein's Revenge. However, they won't all be available at the same time. Each day of the event will have a different brawl available in the arcade, and the full schedule can be seen on screen now, or on playoverwatch.com. It's likely the reason for this is that if all the brawls were live all of the time, they would split the player base too much and make matchmaking very slow. However, unfortunately, this does mean you're going to have to plan out which days your favourite brawls will be available on. The next major part of this update is the new workshop feature, and this isn't tied to the event. The workshop expands on the game's customization options by providing a simplified scripting system that allows for dramatic changes to existing game modes or the creation of entirely new ones. It's been in testing on the PTR for a few weeks now, and some fantastic creations have already emerged, including things like a gun game, Battle Royale, Diva Surprise, Zombies, The Floor is Lava, and Hammond Racing, amongst many others. The creativity we've already seen on the PTR has been amazing, so it's definitely worth checking out what people are playing in the game browser if you're looking for a more unique Overwatch experience. There are also two new hero updates in this patch, making changes to Batiste and Wrecking Ball. Both changes are directed at how their abilities interact with moving platforms, such as those found on Volskaya. Batista's immortality field and the mines from Wrecking Ball's ultimate will now move along with the platform if they land on it. A number of bug fixes have also been applied, fixing issues like Hanzo and Genji being unable to climb certain pillars in the Havana map, and D.Va's speed being dramatically decreased when flying over certain platforms. Finally, Overwatch will also be free to play for one week, from the 21st until the 28th of May. So if for some reason someone you know hasn't picked up the game in the past three years, this could be your chance to get them hooked. Which of the new skins are you hoping to get your hands on, and what are your favourite workshop game modes? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.